Hello my friends, it is Alyssa. I am here with another reading for y'all today. So our topic for today's video is going to be what your person is thinking, um, what they're thinking about you, about your situation, um, your relationship, etc. So um, we've got four groups here to choose from. I've got these little numbered sticky notes with stickers on them and obviously we have a crystal for each one so for group number one we have the red heart sticker and the fluorite which sadly got broken during my move but um, it still fits together uh, so it's fine um, group number two has the yellow heart and for that we have aura quartz group number three has the blue heart sticker and citrine and for group number four we've got the green heart with selenite so i will give you guys a moment to make your choices and then we will hop into it So group one, let's find out what your person is thinking. I think for you guys, I'm going to use the Santa Muerte Tarot. This is pretty much my go-to deck most of the time. What is group one's person thinking right now? So the first card to come out here is the Six of Wands. We have the Ace of Cups. Whoa, that's too many cards. Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Swords, Nine of Cups, and the Magician. And let me grab one or two Oracle cards, and then we'll talk about this. We have orphaned in the reverse, which is interesting. Okay, so let me look at these for a second. I get a lot of good feelings just right off the bat. I mean, these are all generally pretty good cards, um, especially the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Wands. You know, these are cards that generally are really promising. Um, the Six of Wands, this is associated with like victory, success, recognition. Um, Ace of Cups, this is new beginnings. This is loving energy. This is emotions. Um, you know, somebody starting to express themselves. The Ten of Pentacles talks about stability, um, commitment. It is, a lot of times, uh, it speaks of, you know, a happy home situation, family. It has that just very secure, safe, gentle kind of energy. And it, it, it's really like having everything you need um, just at your disposal. Um, the Nine of Cups is typically a card that speaks of you know, wish fulfillment, um, just contentment in general, you know, you've, you've got all of these cups, um, you have just about everything you could want, 
the magician manifestation this is creating something new this is potential this is knowing that you know something has the potential to to grow to become so much more than what it is and um so in terms of what your person is thinking about um these like i said these are really good cards and the general feeling that i get is really good it's very positive um but i get the impression that a lot of you who picked this group probably are not really in touch with this person right now or if you are things are just not things haven't been ideal um because like with this card orphaned in the reverse this is like um this is like the essence of feeling abandoned this is like the essence of loneliness this is a pretty heavy card okay so this makes me think that the person we're talking about is um This person thinks that you've turned your back on them. Ah, okay. Yeah, this person thinks that you've turned your back on them and you are setting your sights on new horizons. You are, you know, setting out to manifest something new, something better for yourself. The Knight of Swords is, you know, a very quick moving energy. It's, um, it, it can be like a hasty decision making, somebody who's kind of rash, who just kind of does things without really thinking them through first. I get the sense that this person believes that you're moving on from them. So, you know, that leads me to think that there's there's been some kind of falling out or some kind of conflict between you and this person. Um, so if if things are going well between you and whoever it is you're thinking of, um, then this probably isn't your pile. You might want to go back and choose a different one because I really get I really get the sense that um, this reading is for people who have. people who are not really on the same page as whoever it is they are they have on their mind right now whoa okay that's let me just get one more of these we have the secret admirer card. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. And we also have time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. So um, I actually get like a... First of all, I want to say, you know, I, I know this reading is not really intended to look at your person's feelings. We're focused more on what they're thinking, how they're perceiving things, you know. Um, but I do think that this person has some pretty intense feelings towards you. I do feel like they um, are very attracted to you. I feel like this person does have love for you or they, they believe that they love you. Um, let me put it that way. But I also get kind of a dysfunctional vibe from this connection. Um, and I feel like a lot of you who picked this group uh, have recognized that there was something not quite right about this connection to this person. And I do feel like a lot of you have kind of distanced yourselves from them as a result of that. Um, you know, or there was some kind of conflict that created distance between the two of you. Um, this person's energy is a little bit sneaky. It seems a little bit um, 
deceptive and I kind of get that from the magician card you know the magician can be a manifester but um, on the other hand he can also be kind of a charlatan he can um, you know create illusions and I get the sense that this individual can be quite manipulative and egocentric and I feel like this person they interpret things how do I want to say this I mean we all interpret things that happen you know in the context of our own personal like framework you know what I'm saying but this person almost seems to me like they their perception of of like particularly things that have happened between the two of you is very much colored by what they what they think is right, what they want. Let me, okay, let me back up a little bit. I don't think that this person is viewing your situation in a very realistic way. If this person did anything to, you know, set those alarm bells off, in your mind, if this person created a problem between you, if this person pushed you away, I get the sense that they don't believe that they've done anything wrong, really, or like they don't feel like what whatever they've done is as bad as you're making it out to be. Um, I hope that makes sense. But it's just like, it, it seems to me like this person doesn't fully understand why you have distanced yourself, why you have detached yourself from them. And that seems to be why they are interpreting this current, the current state of things as like abandonment. Um, and I think that these cards the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, I, I think that these cards are, you know, this person viewing you as being okay, moving on with your life, moving forward, um, opening yourself up to, you know, letting new energy in. And I feel like this person is kind of jealous. And they're a little bit... They're a little bit upset, but they also seem to think that it's only a matter of time before you come back to them. Because this Ace of Cups and this Magician card is also showing me that they're thinking that there's going to be a fresh start here. The Knight of Swords... They're thinking that you're going to get some clarity about the situation. Basically, come to your senses and, you know, make the effort to reconcile with this person or, you know, come to your senses and come back to them. Secret Admirer card. Um, like I said, this person definitely seems to have... Uh, feelings for you but and and they're they're keeping them to themselves for the most part because they don't want to seem like they are chasing you they don't want to seem desperate in any way they don't want to they don't want for you to know that they want you to come back which is interesting um, I think that they want, 
Mm. Yeah, I think that they want for you to come back to them because it would give them, you know, an ego boost. Um, I, like I already mentioned, I, I get the impression that this person we're talking about is a little bit egotistical. Um, you know, obviously I don't know this person. So, and, and I don't really like to make assumptions about people like that, but that's the, that's the kind of vibes that I get, okay? I just gotta be, I just gotta tell you how it is. And, you know, if that really, really doesn't sound like the person you're thinking of, then this probably isn't your pile. Um, so, you know, don't, uh, take what applies to you in your situation and leave the rest behind, and if none of it is applicable, then move on. But, um, for those of you who this does resonate with, this person's definitely thinking that, um, they're thinking that you're kind of misguided. They're thinking that, okay, they're seeing you kind of moving forward, or, you know, seemingly moving forward with your life, they're a little bit upset by that, but they're thinking, you know, this isn't going to last. They're going to come back. You're going to come back because maybe you have before. For some of you, I do feel that this has been kind of a toxic connection. And if that's the case, then, you know, keep going. Keep, keep moving forward with your life. Um... But I, I think that this person is expecting you to change your mind about things, to change your mind about the situation, about them. And come back to them. And it's, you know, they're thinking it's just a matter of time. They just got to be patient and it'll happen. Hmm. They seem to think that... They, they kind of seem to think that they, they got you all figured out. And so they're not, they, they're not super worried about this situation. Or I'm also getting that, um, even if there hasn't necessarily been a conflict or you haven't um, distanced yourself from them, if you're in a situation with this person where you haven't really had a chance yet to get close to each other, um, then this is, this is saying to me that they feel confident about you coming towards them. Even if you don't seem to be, you know, even if you aren't outwardly expressing a ton of interest in this person or, you know, things like that. Um, <clears throat> they just wanted me to, to say that, that this can be applicable in that kind of situation as well. But, you know, whatever the case, they, they seem to be seeing you as, like, kind of, what's the word I'm looking for here? They think that you don't really know what you want. They know. They, they think that they know what you want and that they know what's best for you. And they're thinking that... You know, they're just going to let you make your mistakes, so to speak. They're just going to let you do your thing right now because they're feeling confident that eventually you'll come to your senses and make the right choice, which in their mind is coming back to them or, you know, approaching them for the first time, whatever the case may be. Take it how it resonates to your situation. Um, but group one, that's what I've got for you guys. I have to say, this person's energy doesn't feel great. It doesn't feel great. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm gonna wrap it up for y'all. 
And uh, I hope this resonated with you. If not, like I said, maybe try a different group. Um, or maybe I'm just not your reader. Who knows? So um, thanks for joining me today anyway, guys. I hope that I see you next time. We're going to move on now to group number two. Which was the Aura Quartz people. And see, guys, I think I'm just going to use my standard Waitsmith deck for y'all. Okay. So, whoa. The very first card to fly out here is the Five of Swords. What does Group 2's person think? This group two's person thinking. Hmm. Whoa, okay. Well, with the four of oh, okay. With the four of swords here, they're thinking about this a lot. I can tell you that. Um, time to go and building blocks. And then I'm going to pull one or two of these cards and then we'll talk about this stuff. Okay. Group two, what is your person thinking? What is your person thinking? We have these three swords cards here. We have the five of swords, the four of swords, and the ten of swords. So swords in general, um, really relate to mental activity or thoughts. So like I was saying, um, they are definitely thinking about you, about the situation that you're in together. Um, and I do get the sense that there's been some difficulty because it seems to me like there's been some kind of ending here um, with the Ten of Swords. You know, this is a, a defeat. This is a painful, difficult ending happening. And also, time to go, it's, um, it's about walking away from something, leaving something behind, you know, saying, saying so long and goodbye and moving on from a situation. So I'm seeing here that there's been some kind of ending. There's been some kind of, and, and I feel like it was kind of abrupt. I feel like there's been a lack of closure between you and this person, and that seems to be bothering them. Um, I honestly... Okay. This... Whatever happened between you and this individual... I get the sense that it was kind of unexpected. And if it was a situation where things ended abruptly because of something that they did, you know, if they were ultimately responsible for it, then um, your sticker fell off. Uh, I'm getting that They were surprised because they weren't expecting to be caught or they weren't expecting whatever it was that they did to be that much of a problem. Okay. Now, the five of swords here, this talks to me about disappointment. This is about something not meeting your expectations. So this person that we're talking about here is just, you know, really, I want to say... <laughs> The word that comes to mind is underwhelmed. They're feeling pretty underwhelmed by what went down between you, like by the relationship that you had with each other. Because it, it seems to me like from their point of view, it ended too quickly. 
and it for that reason it it really didn't it it really didn't meet their expectations because like i said they i don't think they were expecting anything bad to happen um so there's this feeling of like this relationship or this connection has turned out to be a letdown. And I'm getting that they are thinking like, okay, what, what could I do to fix this? With the three of pentacles here, you, you can see this guy in the background, he's hammering on um, the statue, I guess. Um, so, you know, this card talks about, like, building something up. It talks about teamwork, you know, putting forth the effort to get something up off the ground or, in some cases, to rebuild or renovate something that already exists. So, this tells me that this person we're talking about here, I think, wants to or believes that it, you know, it's possible that they can fix this. This person seems to believe, and actually building blocks is really the same kind of message. Um, these two cards, essentially the same thing, okay? Um, so this person believes that this connection is fixable. They, they have what it takes. They can do it. They can fix this. Um, we also have two cards here that talk about balance. We have temperance and we have the balance card. Um, and this card says, love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So I'm getting the sense that, first of all, I feel like for the vast, vast majority of you, um, well, maybe I shouldn't say that. But for a lot of you, I feel like this separation or this ending was initiated by you. Um, you know, for others of you, of course, this may have been initiated by them. Uh, but they might have felt at that time like that was their only option. And now they're kind of regretting that choice. Does that make sense? So just take it how it resonates to you, how it applies to your situation. Um, you know, if they were the ones to initiate this ending, then they seem to be regretting that decision and they seem to be thinking like, okay, um, this is the bet I've made, but I really don't want to lie in it. I want to, I want to, I want to make an effort to fix things now. So that's, whatever the case, that's, the gist of what your person is thinking at this point in time. Um, the balance card here, a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Uh, whatever the case, whatever went down between you and this person, they're thinking now that whatever the conflict was, whatever the problem was, it's something that actually you could overcome, you could work through together if you tried. So, you know, if you were the one to initiate this ending, they're thinking like, they're kind of disappointed in you because they're thinking like, well, you, you, you don't have faith in me, you don't, you don't have faith that we could work things out. Um, and if they were the ones to initiate this, then it's more along the lines of, I was, I was stupid. I was being hasty. I didn't realize at the time that this was fixable. You know, it's just a setback. It's just a setback, but that's not how I was viewing it at that time. Um, so yeah, your whatever the case, your person is thinking right now that Whatever went down, it's fixable, and they want an opportunity to make amends, basically. They want to try to balance out this connection again. They want to try to, you know, repair this and 
get to this Ten of Cups kind of energy with you. Um, the Ten of Cups is, it's about contentment. It's about wish fulfillment. This is a very loving, familial kind of energy. Um, this is, you know, the card of like having everything you could possibly want or need, having all of your um, emotional needs satisfied. And I think that this is the kind of outcome that they would like to see happen with you. Um, you know, I don't know how realistic that is. Uh, this person does seem to this person seems to have a little bit of an idealized perception of this situation and what I mean by that is like I, I want to say they're they're very optimistic, maybe a bit too optimistic about this. This card says, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So this card is um, going back to what I was saying about how your person is thinking that, you know, regardless of who made this decision, of who initiated this ending or this separation, your person is thinking that it was a hasty choice, that it was a choice that was just, you know, heat of the moment, um, not a not a very reasonable decision and that you know they should have listened to what their heart was telling them all along they should have listened to what their intuition was telling them and they believe that their intuition is saying this is fixable and we need a second chance or a third chance or a fourth whatever um whatever the case may be here But yeah, um, this is, whatever's happening here between you, um, it's something that I think plagues this person's thoughts. Um, they're definitely thinking about it all the time with the Four of Swords. This is like reflection, contemplation. This is evaluating, analyzing things in your mind. And this is also a card that talks about rest. It's a very inactive energy. So, you know, this tells me that, like, this person has not moved on from this. They right now have no real intention to move on, I don't think. Um, they are just kind of sitting around thinking about this. And at this point in time, I... I get the sense that for a lot of you, they're holding back on reaching out to you because they're afraid of further conflict. They're afraid of rejection. They're afraid of... Basically, I think they're afraid that you're just not going to be open to working with them. So, like, if you want to try to work things out with this person, then, if possible, you may want to contact them. If you don't, then, you know, just let let it be. Um, but, you know, if, if you are in a no-contact situation with this person, I, I, I get the sense that they will reach out to you, but I think it's going to be a little while still before that happens, because... Um, with this Four of Swords, like, in the center here, even though they're, they believe that this is fixable and they're not happy with this situation, they're still very much in this introspective, you know, non-inactive uh, kind of, kind of energy. This is not really, and, and also the Ten of Swords, this is an energy of defeat. You know, this guy is just laying here. He's not making any attempt at getting up. He's just kind of, um, 
he's just kind of laying there, you know, feeling the pain of all these swords in his body. Um, and, and I think that's kind of what your person is doing, metaphorically. Um, just kind of wallowing in regret and um, the, for some of you, the, the pain of losing out on this connection. Um, so, group two, that's what I have for you guys. Um, I hope this resonated with you. If not, um, maybe try a different group of cards. Um, but yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed and I hope I see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to talk now about group number three, which was the citrine. Okay, group three, what deck am I going to use for you guys? Let's do this one. Okay, this is the Kawaii Tarot, by the way. Every time I use this, I always get comments asking me what it is, um, which, if you didn't know, I do list all of the decks that I use um, in the descriptions for every video, just, just so you know. Um, okay, so group three. What does your person think? What is your person thinking about you, about your situation, about your relationship, etc.? Oh, we have the lovers. That's promising. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Hierophant. Mm-hmm. Mm okay. The star. <laughs> the two of cups. Let's get... Whoa, okay. I just want one more. One more, please. Page of Swords. Okay. And let me grab a couple of Oracle cards. I'm going to get some from this deck. We have playfulness, and let me get one from here. New life. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you guys, this is a really, really positive reading. Um, this is clearly a romantic connection. Or even if it's not, this person absolutely feels romantically attracted to you. Um, so, like, unless you're asking about your cousin or something like that, um, in which case you should probably pick a different group, <laughs> um, this is definitely, like, love, like, big love, big time Big time love. Um, first card, the lovers. This is pretty self-explanatory. Um, this is union. This is partnerships. So is the two of cups. Both of these cards are, you know, they, they talk about togetherness and really strong, like, bonds, emotional bonds between people. They're also considered to be um, two of the big, like, soulmate cards. Um, so it's definitely possible that you and this person have some type of soul connection, but that's not really, that's not really what we're talking about. We're talking about what they're thinking. So in terms of what this person is thinking about you, 
um, they're thinking that they are pretty much in love with you. Uh, this person is like, I can't even, I can't even think of the words to describe the amount of, like, the level of intensity that I'm feeling. Um, Hierophant is a card that can represent marriage. Marriage, or at least, you know, that level of, like, long-term commitment is something that this person thinks about all the time. The Queen of Pentacles, this is a very maternal kind of energy. Um, this is also about stability and commitment. This is, you know, very a very family-oriented kind of energy. So these two cards are telling me that this person not only thinks about marriage or, you know, being a, a, a unit with you, but they also um, think about having a family, starting a family. Um, Queen of Pentacles, like I said, very maternal kind of vibe that I get from this card. So, you know, they're, they're thinking about getting pregnant or getting you pregnant, whatever. Um, <laughs> this is actually, like, really, really cute. Um, the star card. This is hope. This is optimism. This is healing and renewal. I think that your person um, has kind of gotten a new perspective on life since they met you, since, you know, the two of you got together or whatever, um, started getting close. They are thinking about the world, they're thinking about their, their own life themselves in a whole new light now. And the new life card is saying the same thing. This is like, it's, it's, it's almost like they, it's almost like they have started fresh. They, they feel as though they have entered into a new phase or a new chapter of their life. Because something about you, something about knowing you, having a relationship with you has... First of all, I think that you challenge them in some ways, or you have in the past. Maybe challenged some of their beliefs, challenged their ideas about the world or about themselves. I get the sense that this person is learning to love themselves because of things that you have inadvertently taught them. Um, the playfulness card, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. Yeah, um, for a lot of you, this is a person who has been wounded a lot in the past. I feel like for many of you, this person has had kind of a hard life. And for some of you guys, the person on your mind, you know, before they met you, before they started to get close to you, they had kind of accepted that they were just never going to be really happy. But now their perspective has done like a total it, it, it's their perspective has taken like a, a complete 180 turn um they're they're seeing now that they have so much more potential than they ever realized they're seeing now that there's so much more to life there's so much that they can they can achieve and pursue there's so much so many things that they can they can get out of life that they just never really thought was in their reach before. Um, and this, uh, I, I want to say that this is not, I, I don't get the sense that this person is idealizing you. It might be really easy to think that given how, how much they seem to admire you. Um, but I think that's really what it is. It's, it's admiration and it's like gratefulness. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, and you've really showed them that there's a lot of good in the world that they never really noticed before. And I want to say that I, I don't get the sense that this person would, you know, go back to their old way of thinking about things, their old um, tendencies or whatever, if things were to not work out between you. I don't think that would happen. I think that this is, this relationship, this connection has really been a turning point for them. And I really don't see them, you know, regressing if for any reason, things didn't pan out for the two of you. So it's not like, don't, don't feel like you have a ton of responsibility to this person because it's, it's not like they're gonna, they're gonna, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It, it, it's not like their life is going to be over if for some reason things don't work out. Okay, that's what I want to say. Um, but this person really does think the world of you. This person, I think, absolutely wants to be with you, like, ideally forever. Um, as long as possible, though. This Page of Swords is throwing me a little bit. The Page of Swords is... I mean, pages are messengers. Pages are they relate to potential because they typically represent things that are new, that are fresh. Um, and they also talk about insight and clarity, the, the Page of Swords specifically. So let me get one clarifying card for this. Three of Cups. Interesting. Oh, okay. So... I mentioned already that this person has developed a, a, a stronger love for themselves as a result of your connection. That's what this is talking about as well. This is um, this is them gaining new insights about themselves. This is them learning that they are actually a much more lovable, valuable person than they originally thought that they were. Okay, and that they have a lot to offer people, and that I mean, for some of you, like I, I feel like your person just had very low self esteem and a really poor sense of just you know self worth, and um that's that's changed and they recognize this they recognize all of these things that i've just been talking about um sorry they understand they know they're fully aware that you know their way of thinking about themselves and about the world in general about life has changed because of this connection to you okay So group three, that's what your person is thinking. I feel like this person absolutely um, would like to have a long-term commitment. I mean, these are all really beautiful cards. So is this one. And my cat's trying to get up here. No, 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 no. You're going to set yourself on fire with these candles, sir. Hop down. Jump down. There you go. Okay. Well, the reading's over anyway. Um, so, I hope that resonated with you guys. Um, this person, like I said, really thinks the world of you, and they admire you a lot, and they're very grateful for you. Um, so, group three, that's what I've got for you guys today. I hope this resonated. I hope that this was interesting and insightful. Um, and thank you for joining me, and I hope I see you next time. So, last but not least, we have group four, which was the selenite 
bar. Okay. So group four, I'm trying to decide what deck I want to use for you guys. And I'm thinking the golden tarot. Okay. So um, let's find out what your person is thinking about you, about your relationship, your situation. Hopefully... It's too many cards. Hopefully you guys um, get some good energy here. Group 3's reading was extremely, like, overwhelmingly positive. We've got the Six of Coins. We have the Queen of Coins. This came out for Group 3 as well. Three of Swords. Five of Coins. Eight of Wands. Hmm. It's too many cards. We have the Magician and Judgment here. Okay, so let me get a couple of oracle cards and then we can get started. Oops. Ooh. That was like three cards, so I'm not going to take all of those. <clears throat> So this is, hmm, okay, this is kind of tough, I gotta say. Um, the person that we're talking about here definitely uh, has good feelings towards you, generally speaking. Um, I'm sorry it's getting dark in here. Let me actually see if I can't make it brighter. Hold on. That's a little better, I think. Anyway, okay. Um, as I was saying, the person that we're talking about here definitely seems to have good feelings towards you. And what I mean is they want the best for you. This person wants the best for you because they care about you, okay? Um, so if you are ever in a position where you're not sure, you know, if this person cares about you at all, if they, if, if they ever think about you, they do, they totally do. And I do get a feeling of regret with these cards. I mean, we have the three of swords. This is sadness, grief. Um, betrayal, five of coins is loneliness, abandonment, it's loss. I get the sense that, I mean, first of all, this is, this is really more feelings that I'm getting rather than actual thoughts. Um, they do, you know, those energies do kind of overlap to some extent, but this is this is a lot of feelings this is a lot of feelings and not a whole lot of like conscious thought which is interesting so it's really like okay let me back up this person does think about you but it's it, it, there's not a lot of like real specific thoughts that are coming through. It's more just like this constant presence 
that they experience. Like, you're just always kind of on their mind. And with the Twin Flame card coming out here, um, you know, this, this does feel like, this energy just does feel like a Twin flamey kind of situation because, you know, I get the sense that there have been, there's been a separation here. There's been some distance here between the two of you. Someone has moved away from the other person and it's left everybody involved feeling low, feeling, you know, very down. I get the sense that this individual believes that They are doing you some kind of favor by not being in your life right now. Or by not, you know, being in your life as much as they could be, if that makes sense. Um, they think very highly of you with this Queen of Coins here. And the Magician, you know, they, they see you as this very capable, very independent person, um, someone who really has the whole world in their hands, someone who can do whatever they want. That's how they see you. Um, and they think that hmm. I mean, basically, I'm getting that this person thinks that they're not good enough for you. And, you know, they're, they are, they think that, I think I already said this, but they think they're doing you a favor by being at a distance from you. And... They're wanting for you to move forward. They're thinking you deserve better than what I am able to give you. You deserve someone who's going to be able to put forth an equal amount of effort into the relationship. You deserve someone who's going to be able to give back everything that you put in. You know what I'm saying? You deserve something more balanced than what they can provide. And so they are, they're hoping that you will just move forward. Um, Eight of Wands talks about movement, action, um, change. Judgment is about rebirth. It's about awakening. It's about like, it's, it's kind of like the enlightenment card. And I'm getting that this person wishes or is hoping that you will realize that you deserve better. Now, you know, keep in mind, this is just their perception of things. This is their interpretation of your connection of their themselves. But they're wishing for you to make that realization to have that insight that you deserve something more than what they can give you. And so, and, and once you do that, you know, they're, they're wanting for you to move forward. And to the sea, this talks about the same thing. This is about just kind of going with the flow, moving along with things. Um, just kind of going wherever the wind take you, takes you. Um, Because they just feel like this connection is something that they are not meant to have or they're not capable of having. Not for you is pretty self-explanatory. When it comes up in the reverse position, it is a lot of times a message that, you know, whatever you're pursuing, you need to stop and take a step back and think about it. And 
here it's telling me that in the past they thought that this connection was something that they could really put their all into they thought that this was something that was going to work out and i get the sense that they still want this but they've come to this conclusion that they can't have it and i'm sorry it's so dark the sun is going down and um let me move my candle maybe that will help Okay. And it's just a very, I mean, it's a very sad kind of energy that I get from this person. They really do want the best for you. They really do care about you a lot. And they just have this idea in their head that what's best is not them and you know that could be I mean for some of you this person I think definitely does have a self-esteem problem for others of you you know they might be right so that's what I'm getting as far as what your person is thinking group for um, this is this feels like a really tough situation and like i said with this card here the twin flame card um you definitely have a significant connection to this person and i think that's what makes it so difficult and that's what um that's what that's the reason why you're always uh on their mind and probably they're on your mind all the time too and that's why and this person absolutely could come around and, you know, grow and change and change their mind. But that hasn't happened yet. And I think it's going to take some time for it to happen. Um, so, you know, don't think that there's no hope for this situation because I think there is. But, um, you know, it's not going to turn around overnight, right? So group four, those are really all the messages that I'm getting for you today, and it has gotten quite dark, so we're going to wrap it up. Um, I hope that this resonated with you. I hope this gave you some insight. Um, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope I see you next time. Bye.